Aya, asante sana bwana Kanyire. And uh, evidently, uh, the country is at a point where they're looking up to politicians and the more, um, the more we make careless statements, the worse it gets. Let me start with you, uh, Dr. Robert Shiramo, because there was a question there yes. raised to you in terms of the approach that the NCIC is using to deal with uh, some of these issues, and especially hate speech. Is it clearly thank you very defined much. what yes. is hate speech? No, thank because you very much. Uh, no, it's clearly defined in the law, but I think Kenyans don't really also understand the, the Help limits. Help us understand. You know, hate speech refers to any sort of incitement uh, that is directed to an ethnic group, to a religion, to a race, to somebody of a social origin. Uh, but most of the time, Kenyans also do confuse two things, hate speech and defamation. You know, I can go to a baraza and insult my brother Abichage. Mm -hmm. You know, that, most time Kenyans will say NCIC should do something on Commissioner Sharon because he said something bad about mm. pro, uh, Honorable Vishage. That is not hate speech. That is defamation. So he can, take, uh, he can take me to court, that's a different process. The other one is also incitement to violence. Somebody might say, let's break down this wall. You know, it is uh, on a playground or something. That is, that is uh, a politician can do that. But Kenyans will say NCIC should do something about that. So there's generally a little bit of less understanding by Kenyans, and that's what we have really been focusing on, uh, to really, uh, to, for Kenyans to understand what is hate speech. Because that is now incitement to violence, and it's a police issue. Mm -hmm. It's the IG and his team to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So Ken, uh, NCIC looks at any sort of incitement or discrimination based on uh, so, uh, issues around race, mm -hmm. ethnicity, social okay. origin, and, 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 and other, and religion. Mm -hmm. um, you, you have mentioned an issue about what has NCIC been doing on major things. I will touch on the TGRC report. But you know, the mandate, what we do on hate speech is just a small fragment of the NCIC mandate. NCIC has done much more. We have research components, we have communication issues, we have issues around ethnic audits, which we have exposed. We have looked at the, what is the balance in terms of recruitments at the county level, mm -hmm. for example. There was a report last year. And it showed only the 17 counties out of uh, 47 actually uh, complied with what is in the law, both NCIC Act mm -hmm. and also the uh, County Government Act, which means Kenyans have, we have a problem of tribalism yes. Yes. At, at all levels. Mm -hmm. We have looked at the state parastatals. There are parastatals which are also extremely skewed, mm -hmm. that you'll find certain ethnic groups basically dominating certain areas. Mm -hmm. We have seen counties which are employing 98% to 96% of their ethnic groups mm -hmm. using public resources. Mm -hmm. We have seen our universities, which are very skewed. Mm -hmm. You know, go to a university, 89% uh, is from one group. And you know, this, this practice, in terms of counties, is across the board. Mm -hmm. 